In the days since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, one state after another has outlawed abortion. Illinois is one of the few states in the middle of the country where people can still legally access abortion care. In this report, co-produced with the NewsHour, Kaiser Health News correspondent Sarah Varney traveled to Illinois to see what's happening there. Along the highway from St. Louis, a billboard reads, Welcome to Illinois, where you can get a safe, legal abortion. Hope Clinic stands out like a beacon. Hope Clinic, this is Kate. How may I help you? Amy Red Griner supervises the front desk. So diagnostics are now not okay. Today the clinic is closed, but on a normal day, what would this waiting room look like? Uh, the waiting room would be full. Patients travel here to Granite City from at least 19 states, including Texas, Florida, and Kentucky. I'm standing here in Illinois, and just behind me is Missouri across the river. Normally, you wouldn't think twice about crossing state lines, but now these borders matter in terms of where women can access abortion care. So how busy have the phones been lately? They have been ringing off the hook, especially on Mondays. Dr. Aaron King is an OBGYN and executive director of Hope Clinic. People are coming to us much more, in, almost in states of crisis. They are, there's much deeper levels of stress and anxiety, both around living somewhere that is telling you that what you're doing is wrong, and then having to come so far as the distance has increased and people's resources have decreased. It's really scary to see people will drive two, 300 miles, have multiple organizations help them and still arrive and say, okay, don't tell anyone because I know this is illegal. Well, it's not illegal here. Just 10 minutes away in Missouri, abortion is now illegal, with no exceptions for rape or incest. This clinic and others around Illinois have been preparing for this moment for months, years even. They're staying open later, adding weekends, beefing up staff, and they've even built new facilities. We are seeing other colleagues start to come into the state where they may have been practicing in other states. They are moving their facilities or their practices into our state, which is going to increase access significantly. Do I think Illinois will be able to give all the access that is needed? No. But one way women can access abortion as a growing number of states outlaw it is through medication abortion. It's been around since the early 1990s, but it wasn't approved by the FDA until 2000 for up to 10 weeks of pregnancy. Now, more than half of abortions are carried out using the two-pill regimen that stops the pregnancy and causes a miscarriage. Figure out how far along she is. If she's under 10 weeks, we'll go ahead and offer her the option for medical abortion. It's been safely used for decades in countries around the world and is 99.6 percent effective. There's data to show that it's safer than getting a penicillin shot, for example. Dr. Sadia Heider is the division director of family planning at Rush University in Chicago. In many states, abortion pills can be prescribed via telehealth or obtained online. When we think of self-managed abortion pre-row, we think of coat hangers and botched abortions in alleyways. Um, is this the same moment? We didn't have these medications back in those days. So we actually have very good medications now that safely can provide medical abortion, um, both in the hands of clinicians and in ha hands of patients. There's a number of studies that have shown this, that patients can do this safely. To do that, they sometimes need to leave home to have privacy from their children or an abusive partner. We heard the story of one woman who wasn't able to have her medication abortion safely in her own home. So she relied on an abortion fund for financial support to finish the process at a hotel here in Decatur. Over the last few years, as restrictions grew in surrounding states, Illinois has become a safe haven. In 2018, about 5,600 women came here from out of state for abortion care. In 2020, that number increased 70 percent to nearly 9,700. We're driving to Chicago. That's where many women from the Midwest and the South have to travel in order to access abortion care. There are just far more clinics in the Chicago area than anywhere else in the state. And they're driving long distances. From Lexington, Kentucky, it's 400 miles. From Memphis, Tennessee, it's 530 miles. And from Houston, Texas, it's more than 1,000 miles. And that's just one way. Fresh tea. <laughs> It's a busy morning at Megan Jaifo's house in Chicago. Her husband is getting their kids ready for camp. Do you have your socks on? 
and she and her colleague Kadzia Sharif have a long list of women who need their help. Together, they run the Chicago Abortion Fund, which helps women access care who can't afford it or live in states where it's illegal. We heard in the Hope Clinic yesterday a lot of people coming from t Tennessee, Kentucky, Texas, Oklahoma. What are some of the things people need in order to make that journey? Definitely since the start of this year, being 2022, each month we see folks from at least 20 states. We're supporting a lot of folks who are calling us, trying to figure out, can I be seen in my home state? Is there a place close to me? Um, or maybe they're just like, I know Chicago. I'd rather just come to Chicago and get care. It can be as simple as, you know, over the border in Indiana as a $14 train ticket. We have bought clothes for people who didn't think they were going to end up staying here um, for multiple day appointments, maxi pads, a hotel stay, a child care stipend. And something that we really try to underscore with our callers is that the difficulty you faced up to this point to get an abortion isn't a reflection of the morality of your decision to have an abortion. This is political. This has nothing to do with you, your body, your doctor, your choices. Those are yours. And we trust you to make a decision for yourself and your family um, that is, is powerful and brave. OK, and do you have health insurance right now? The phone calls to the okay. Chicago Abortion Fund are constant. Many of those women end up in Chicago at clinics like Family Planning Associates. It's difficult to imagine um, how this ramp up will occur to be able to take care of all these extra patients. One day we're seeing our usual number of patients and the next day 20,000 more people who are calling. Dr. Allison Cowett is the clinic's medical that. director. At least half of people who seek abortion have used some form of birth control in the month prior to them seeking abortion. There will always be a need for abortion, um, whether it is because people got pregnant and weren't intending to get pregnant, because their birth control failed. Um, also because there are many situations where women cannot stay pregnant for their own health and to save their, their own life. Um, there are so many different reasons that women seek abortion. How do you feel in this moment? When I'm here at work, um, I have to say I feel very calm because I feel like this is we are part of a solution for so many people's lives. When I'm outside of my work environment, uh, I, I do feel rage and I feel concern that that we're not getting that word out there that this is a, a, a public health crisis and the end of women as equal partners in our society. We've gone from one end of Illinois to the other. Just behind me in Wisconsin, clinics have stopped booking appointments for patients, forcing women to travel elsewhere. It's another example that borders matter. For the PBS NewsHour and Kaiser Health News on the Illinois-Wisconsin border, I'm Sarah Varney.